Following the news of a police probe into a group of Neon Poly students in an alleged harassment case, the police said yesterday that as part of its investigation, it has identified the students involved and none are freshmen. MP also said the incident did not take place during the school's freshman orientation program or as preparations for it. Meanwhile, according to news reports, an Instagram user had come forward on Monday night, claiming that he was one of the two people that was urinated on. He described the incident as consensual, adding that it wasn't bullying. Now, regardless of whether the incident was consensual or not, let's talk about this culture of hazing with sociologist Dr. Tan Eun Sir from the National University of Singapore. Welcome, Dr. Tan. Uh, doctor, why is hazing or any form of initiation considered a rite of passage to belong to a particular group? Well, first of all, I think rite of passage can be a positive thing. Uh, but unfortunately, I would say that hazing is not one of them. It's not one of the positive ones. Uh, but uh, having said that, I think if you think, think of it as an initiation ceremony, right? Uh, it is something that organizations do, uh, groups do, when they uh, bring in new members, uh, they want them to be able to transit from their old role to a new role. So more generally, I would argue that, you know, initiation ceremony usually have to do with like, uh, let's say you transit from playing, uh, uh, from being a child to being an adult from being a student in the university to being an adult in the workplace. So in that sense, it is something that is, uh, I would say, necessary, happen all the time. And, uh, and actually, it can be positive, but not hazing. For the people being hazed, no matter in what institution or what organization they're in, why do they even put up with it? Well, it could be that they choose to join the organization. Uh, it could be that they feel coerced or sort of forced into joining the organization because they want to be part of the in-group. And then once they're in the organization, they have to do what the organization desire, requires of them to do, right? Mm -hmm. To show their commitment, to show that they are willing to uh, to uh, break out of uh, things that they used to do before, you know, to be transiting from, like I say before, uh, uh, being a child to being an adult, for instance. Right. Uh, doctor, we most often see hazing in U.S. fraternities, uh, whether it's uh, real news reports or depicted in TV or film. Do you think that has influenced how initiation is being carried out in our institutions? Well, I think we are very much influenced by uh, Western TV, in particular American TV. Mm -hmm. Of course, in recent years, I mean, there are all kinds of channels from all over the world, right? But I would say that there is some kind of an imitation effect. I mean, you imitate what you think is cool, you imitate what is in fashion. So I think by the same token, there's an attempt to do so. Uh, you just want uh, to do what you think is really cool and what you think is really fun, right? Right. Well, you know, there are positive, um, let's say, consequences to the initiation practice. For example, you know, Harianto, I'm sure mm. that you and I have gone through such uh, orientation program yeah, that in we were schools, in. Exactly. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So, you know, like, like I said, so there are positive uh, effects to this. So, pro, um, Dr. Tan, how can institutions continue with this initiation practice while, you know, preventing it from going too far? Okay, first of all, I absolutely agree that, uh, you know, initiation ceremony is absolutely necessary. I mean, when you get to a new organization, I mean, you need to learn the, the new roles that you're playing, the expectation that they have, right? But having said that, I don't, I don't think hazing not need to be uh, necessarily harmful, uh, necessarily humiliating. Uh, I think it can be actually be fun, uh, be very constructive and positive. So some examples of uh, games that we can play be like, for example, we, we hear of uh, uh, speed dating, right? That means uh, we, we go around, get to know one another, and then we ask the person, say, why did you uh, introduce your friend on the left and then the friend on the right? So that's one one possibility, uh, or it could be playing games like uh, you know that involve teamwork. Uh, you you go for a treasure hunt. I know this is sort of old school, right? You go for a treasure hunt. You work with one another, and in the process, you learn a lot about one another. All right, maybe uh, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, what they can what they can or cannot do. So I think that there are initiation ceremonies. Okay, uh, getting to know one another, I think is absolutely necessary. Or I think it can involve games and uh, uh, other uh, other practices that can be positive and constructive in the process.